Well, new at 5, 10 on your side is working to get answers for patients blindsided by the announcement that Bon Secours is closing its birthing center at DePaul Hospital in Norfolk. The hospital system now says that it will stop delivering babies there on March 15th. Uh, Tenor News Side Stephanie Harris is looking into why this is happening and what it means for worried moms to be. Yeah, we've been hearing a lot on our social media platforms on this from moms to be and employees who are upset about the closing and also how this announcement was handled. Mm. As you may be aware, Bon Secours merged with Mercy Health Systems about a year and a half ago. In June, they closed the mother baby unit at Maryview Hospital in Portsmouth and now the birthing center at DePaul. So what's going on? Something is happening at Bon Secours Hospitals. My grandmother called my mother and my mother called me and they were like, did you see the news? Portia Kelly, who's eight months pregnant, just found out she won't be delivering her baby at DePaul. And I felt like it was a punch to the face yesterday. A hospital spokeswoman told 10 on your side they're being forced to close because they don't have enough staff. In December, 10 on your side reported that Woman Care Centers, a large OBGYN practice, would stop delivering babies at DePaul on March 1st. They're moving their practice to Sentara. Now, Bon Secours says due to that practice leaving, they've seen significant resignations. And while they tried to fill the vacancies, they could not. I asked if the closure was temporary then, until they could staff. A spokesperson said no, they will not be reopening. The doctors are absolutely awesome and amazing and they're super caring and it's disappointing that not only are all the patients going through this, but I feel the doctors are going through this as well. Portia said when she called her doctor at Hampton Roads OBGYN, the office indicated they had just found out about the closure too and weren't sure what was going to happen. When I called that practice, they told me they were not at liberty to comment since they are directly linked to the hospital. The lack of response leaves Portia in a lurch. Pretty stressed, um, planning a baby shower, and now I'm also trying to figure out where I'm going to have a baby. Avanza Corps denied my request for an interview today, but late this afternoon sent me an email answering some questions. A spokesperson told me they follow protocol and notify people affected first, including patients. Avanza Corps says they are also working closely with current patients and staff to ensure women receive the care they need. Portia maintains this has not been the case for her yet. I'm going to stay on top of that. They also indicated that no changes are in the works right now for Mary Immaculate Hospital on the peninsula, and that hospital still has its mother baby unit. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.